Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to start off with our six weekly video as we're going to tackle actually the concept or the effective the concept of globalization on sports and the gaming industry as well. We're going to start off with our major question in the unit, which is how has globalization affected sports? So generally speaking, we know that globalization has significantly impacted the world of sports, transforming it into a truly global phenomenon. Now, sports have transcended borders, cultures, languages, becoming even a unifying force that brings people together from all corners of the world, actually. So the globalization of sports is evident in the international competitions, so like the Olympics and FIFA World Cup and major tennis and golf tournaments, where athletes from even diverse backgrounds compete on the world stage. However, globalization has also raised important questions about fairness, ethics, and even the accommodation of sports, highlighting the complex of interplay between the global and the local in this ever-evolving, basically, era. And in order for us to understand now the concept itself and its effects on sports, we're going to brainstorm a lot of questions and discuss the overall effect of globalization on sports. So we're going to start off by specifically naming a certain sport and how is it originated, how did it originate generally in different countries. Uh, we're going to study the impact of globalization on popularity and then we're going to have some examples of athletes and that gained international recognition due to globalization and we're going to eventually summarize the effect of technology on globalization especially when we're talking about the internet and how it contributed to the globalization of sport and in order for us to generalize the effect itself of globalization on sports, we're going to be basically answering uh, the essential question, which is how has globalization shaped our world? So again, we're going to be divided in groups and we'll examine and research various sources of information regarding the concept itself in the question. And we're going to mind map the essential question in relation to the mentioned sources of information that we have on our pages 17 and 18. And then we're going to study uh, and answer that question, which is how can sports organizations and nations balance the preservation of cultural identity with the demands of globalized sports. We're going to go over the research and our analysis towards the effects of globalization on various uh, basically aspects in our lives, as we're going to follow a certain analysis that is called the SWOT analysis, which is a strategy of planning tool used by businesses and organizations to assist the internal strengths and weaknesses, as well as external basically opportunities and threats. It involves systematic evaluation of these four keys, or key factors that we're going to deal with to make informed decisions and develop effective strategies. So we're going to mention the strengths, the weaknesses, opportunities, and threats at the same time. And lastly, to conclude our lesson, which is effective globalization on sports, we're going to answer a lot of challenging questions. So how can the student examine the multifaceted impact of globalization on sports through the SWOT analysis? And we're going to suggest, again, one significant solution to what the gaming industry is causing on health care. To conclude or our references and citations, we're going to use the MLA style, which is actually a way of citing resources collectively, and it's a fundamental aspect of scholarly and ethical writing. It involves giving proper credit to the source you have used in your work, which not only acknowledges the contributions of others, but also upholds the integrity of your own research. And as a conclusion to our basically week, we're going to list one negative significance of globalization and human interconnectedness that comes to when it comes to the gaming industry itself. So this is how we're going to be concluding our lesson. See you next time.